I've shown you the comprehensive set of input processors and output processors. Pressing the internal effects button displays four more global processors for effects that are shared by many channels such as a reverb or for special treatment processing to be inserted on an input channel or an output bus. Currently I have set a graphic EQ, a chorus unit, a stereo delay, and a reverb processor in effects number four. To change the settings on this reverb, I find this tab, Edit Effects 4, so I press the F4 button. Here you can see and adjust the parameters of the reverb using the cursor keys and the data wheel. The library has factory suggested presets at the top of the list and then user memory locations where you can save your own settings for this reverb or any other effect. Return to the effects overview by pressing the internal effects button. Let's change this chorus into some other type of processor. First use the cursor keys to highlight that effect icon. Then press enter. Here you can see a list of presets and I'd like to show you this effect, the channel strip. Let's insert that onto channel 5. This box here shows where this effect is applied. If I highlight the box and press enter, I get a list of channels where I can insert that effect. I can select channel 5 by highlighting it and pressing enter. When I close with the F8 button, I can see now that this channel strip is applied to channel 5. Let's take a look at that effect by pressing F2 to edit its settings. This effect gives me an enhancer or de-esser, four more bands of EQ, and a delay. Inserting that onto channel 5 adds all of those effects to the gate, compressor, and EQ that are already part of channel 5.